Perth Convention and Exhibition Centre, many have gathered to highlight the dangers truck drivers face when they're on the job. And 46% of drivers say that they have to carry out unsafe practices, not carry out maintenance on their work and their trucks, their lives, because of the pressure that comes from the economic pressure that comes on, from coals. You go to work one day, you, you hop in the truck, your boss says the load's got to be there, and you, you load the truck and then set off, say, for Melbourne. You get to Melbourne, you unload the truck, then they send you somewhere to reload the truck in the same day. This company is determined to turn around and make a buck any way it can, and it's killing truck drivers. That's when governments have to step in and have regulations to protect the entire community. This shouldn't be about somebody not buying their cornflakes from one place or another. This is about a government standing by truck drivers rather than saying they're going to abandon them and put more dead bodies into our morgues. That's what the government's deciding by siding with coals by getting rid of this tribunal. The media, the public, they kick up more about shark attacks than what they do about over 300 people dying every year in one industry. I mean, that's just gobsmacking. Um, they need to support this bill. It's, I mean, this bill is not going to fix everything, but it's a small stepping stone. But if it works, they'll be able to hold people responsible for not paying the right rates, breaking driving hours, and come back on corporate entities like the mob behind us and hold them responsible for unsafe work practices. The Coles are still arguing they should not be held to account. When we've seen coroner's reports, we've heard testimony today where Coles' pressure on supply chains are literally killing Australians, they have to be held to account. It's fair to say that this is something that people should be directly feeling if the Coles board won't feel. This is something the politicians should be feeling, particularly those politicians now that are deciding to get rid of the one tribunal that holds these sorts of companies to account. And with that, we value those people who have lost their lives and those loved ones who are still here to mourn that loss. And we we'll just ask for a minute's silence and memory for so many wonderful people that have lost their lives just carrying out their work or driving down the street and being a casualty of the lethal pressures in this industry. I don't shop at Coles. I really don't. I don't care what the specials are. I don't walk into their store. I won't support them. I know I'm only one person, but I'm one person that can hopefully spread a message and change something. So no, I won't support them by shopping with them at all. Well, we've got to bring the people's attention to the fact that we do want to go to work and go home. You know, I, I drive a lot of metro, and the, the day we leave, or every time we leave the yard, we're going. At, we're thinking for everybody else. You've got cars cutting us off. They're not allowing us a braking speed. I don't want to go home and say to my wife that I kill somebody. If you're a truck driver and you're an owner-operator and you can't afford to maintain your vehicle or you have to do extraordinary hours, which 20% of drivers do over 72 hours a week, then you have to be doing it for economic reasons. You make those choices because you have no choice. And Coles are pushing those economic pressures on the industry, sweating trucks, sweating drivers and killing hard-working Australians. This is Rovi Holyaza reporting for Undercurrent.